Thus far, I'm pretty impressed with Threadripper. It's definitely a compelling offer compared to the much more expensive lineup from Intel. I'm really pleased with the performance as well. So idling, temperatures are hitting around 28 degrees and under load, we were getting around 52, 53. I think it peaked at about 55. Bear in mind, I have got this under a 480 mil uh, radiator up in the roof. But given the size of the die and the 180 watt TDP, I think that's pretty good performance. There's definitely some teething problems. I've had to do a BIOS update. Initially, I was getting reports of temperatures at 77 degrees, which was a little bit alarming, I'll be honest, at the time. And the socket itself is not a straightforward or simple procedure to actually screw that down. I actually had to do quarter turns anti-clockwise and push down with quite some force to actually get the threads to catch. Thank you to the many people who've uploaded stuff on Tinternet. Uh, following a bit of Googling, I managed to overcome that problem. But if I'm honest, it took probably about 20 minutes to get the socket down, which don't feel right. I've also had horrendous problems with the fan curves on this thing, and it just felt like the motherboard was fighting back. It's a battle I ultimately won, but it felt like more hard work than it should have done. That said, I think the sky is looking rosy. A couple of updates to Windows, a BIOS update or two, and this is what you get with the new platform that's so new and so innovative, much like Ryzen beforehand. I'm really looking forward to see what this thing can do. I rendered out the montage that you've just watched before recording this video. That was five minutes, seven seconds, and that took about six and a half minutes to render out. Bear in mind, I've done absolutely nothing to the CPU. There's no overclock on this. Even the RAM is not running at its rated frequency. It's 300 megahertz RAM, and it's at 2,133 or whatever the, the stock configuration is that it comes out. So there's plenty of headroom. I probably am going to do a fresh install of Windows. I've seen a bit of stuttering. I did install and uninstall AI Suite from Asus several times whilst I was trying to get the fans to not sound horrendously loud. And I've got a feeling that that may have done something nasty to the registry. So I'll do a fresh install of Windows tomorrow. See how that does. The next video in the series is going to be uh, an overclocking video. We see what we can get out of this bad boy. What is very interesting though, is when I went into the BIOS, I did notice it was pretty much sitting at 4 gigahertz, 4.1 gigahertz, with absolutely no overclock on it at all. Now these are all binned Ryzen dies, they're the top 2% of the chips, so maybe for once I've actually hit the silicon lottery. Who knows? Crazier things have happened. I hope you're really well wherever in the world you are. Please like and share this video, subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you in my next one.